I think uh, my work has always been related in some sense to the idea of propaganda. Um, you know, this biased kind of material to sell an idea or, or political stance or something like that. I think because I am working with language, that connection to propaganda has always been made as well. I'm presenting mainly two bodies of work. The first is a multi-channel video piece um, that has 12 videos on 12 separate monitors hung in a grid. Um, and each, each row of monitors um, will display a video of me writing a single letter on each monitor um, using a really great old uh, steel brush and India ink on this uh, image that I've developed or this layout or pattern I've developed, uh, what I call an omni letter, which it, it feels and references old kind of grade school um, curf cursive writing lettering paper. Um, but I've, I've arranged it in a way where every single letter of the English alphabet can be written on the uh, thing, um, on the monitor. <laughs> and, uh, and so as you look at the video, every 40 seconds a new three-syllable word will come up. Um, that's been spelled phonetically. Um, so it'll kind of take you a second as, as my hands are kind of forming the letters on each of these monitors to understand what the word is. Um, but I think you can stand back and you can kind of get what the word is if you, if you kind of sound it out as you're reading it. So that'll be one piece. The other piece is uh, these three, what I'm referring to as factions. Um, they're these three separate structures made out of these large wood panels that have been set up or used as flat surfaces essentially to post bills on. I mean, these bills are all printed posters that I've made. Um, some of them are on the table here um, that, uh, that repeat similar language from the videos. Um, new words and in different formats and in different colors, of course. Um, each faction is quite large, uh, the largest one being maybe 14 feet tall um, by 16 to 18 feet wide. Um, in a very real sense, I am a printmaker. I've been condemned to that life. And so, uh, which is an amazing culture, printmaking, and uh, a, an amazing section of the arts. And I think that um, because I'm a printmaker, because I usually work on two-dimensional flat surfaces, paper usually, I'm always interested in trying to understand how my print work can break out of the mold of a frame, um, even break off the wall in some sense. I have always been interested in the form of language in my work, in the form of text, hand-drawn text, and I think this project gave me the ability to really investigate uh, the language that I use, a much more finer comb, so that I could pick these words that I thought were, were big words, we hear them a lot, Big meaning that they're charged, not necessarily that they're long words, but they're charged. They're charged in media. Um, they're applied to very specific stories only in media. Uh, or they're words that, that seem like they're going to incite an action or an event or something like that. So I wanted to use these charged words that would... Um, you would read them and, and then think, okay, what does this mean? Where have I heard this before? And in what forms have I heard this before? Maybe even going so far for the viewer to say, who have I pictured saying this word um, before? And, uh, and in what context would I use this word to describe something? So the idea of spectacle or volatile or systematic versus systemic, when would I hear those two words being used um, and, and, and being applied to what situation? The way of breaking them down uh, into their phonetic spellings, and even though they aren't perfectly phonetic, they're more based on gesture and the sound that the word is making, but I like the idea of being able to find other words within a, a larger word. So the word nationhood um, is something that can be applied in a variety of different contexts, but if you break that word down into three syllables, you have the word nay, the word shun and the word hood. And so um, really being able to analyze those finite parts of um, the word, a much larger word, was very interesting to me.